In this Wix tutorial, we're going to take a look at how to add buttons. So let's say I have this welcome section right here, and I've got this container with some text in it, and I want to add a button right below it. I'm going to select that container, and then go over to my add elements icon. From here, one of the first things you can find is a button area, which allows for many different themed buttons that you can pull out. We can adjust these, but you can select one of these to kind of get started. There's icons, there's image buttons, there's text buttons. Let's just add a shop button like this one right here. All I have to do is click on it and it will appear out here near or to the center of whatever I had selected. So from there to move it around, I can literally click and drag it and move it around. Now there's gonna be lots of helpful guides to get, me, get this button lined up. And once we have it lined up right there, we're gonna keep it there. Now we can make this button larger or smaller just by clicking on the edge and dragging it. And then of course we can move it back into place and make sure it's centered. So this is a rotation. We could rotate this button. I don't wanna do that. So I'm gonna undo with Command or Control Z. There's also some undo and redo buttons right up here in case you do something you didn't mean to. Now this guy right here is a stretch handle. So it'll stretch the button vertically. And this one right here is interesting. It looks like the same type of icon, but what it does is it actually will move the button, but also push down the content. You see how it expands the container? Meanwhile, if we just click the button and drag it, we can move it within the container without expanding. So that's a nifty little button or a nifty little icon right there that allows us to do that. Now we can change the text and the icon. So we can add a button link, right? If we're shopping, we could choose a page and that page could be shop, right? And from there we could open in a new window or the current window. You can also select any of these other types of links, a web address where you send it anywhere you want, a section or anchor, so you link it to a piece of your page so it can scroll down the page, top or bottom of the page, you can link it to documents, you can make it an email button, anything you want, you can link this button up. We're gonna send it to the shop page and hit done. And we can edit the text so it could be maybe buy now instead of shop now and then you can edit the icon as well now you might notice the text actually went a little bit past the container of the button so we could just expand that out however we would like and once we do that we can let go and then reposition our button a little bit we also have a layout tab so let's click on that we can choose what displays is this a text and icon is this text only? Is this icon only, right? Or is it nothing? Uh, which could be like an image button. So I'm gonna do text and icon. We can choose the positioning of this. So whether they're top, bottom, vertical, or just left and right. We can also adjust the spacing between the text and the icon and also the alignment. So you might've noticed that it pushed it over to the right hand side right there but we can justify this. We can center it, push it to the left. So you can really adjust whatever layout you want here with the layout tab. We also have the design tab. The design allows us to swap out some of those text and icon buttons. It also allows us to quickly customize the design. And so we have background fills. We can click on this and we can select the fill that we want. We can also fill it with an image or even a gradient if we would like. I'll leave it like this. Uh, it's not going to look that great, but just so you can see that we could have a gradient button. We can also adjust the um, font or the text so we can adjust, you know, the different sizes based on our theme. We can adjust the actual font itself. Um, we can adjust the font size we can scroll, uh, bring that back down a little bit bold. We can adjust the color. We have borders on this we can use the corners right now the radius is allowing for a, um, a perfect circle around the edges but we could bring that up to something like 25 instead or even let's say 10. And so now it's more of a square that's rounded off back in the design tab under customized design we can add shadows we can get back to the layout a little bit so this would be like the padding of our layout and then the icon itself, the size of it, the color, the rotation. We can also adjust a hover state. 
So you have a design. Everything I designed here was for the regular state. So you're not hovering over it. You're just seeing the button. Then when we hover over it, what happens? Well, we can change all of that design. So for instance, on the regular, you see the size of the icon is 37. And on the hover state, it's 42. And you can see that it's going to expand a little bit when you hover over this. And we, I just accidentally applied the regular design because I thought this was going to be a drop down, but we're just going to undo that. So now we have the hover state again. Now, if we go back to our button, we can elect to do some animation. So does this button bounce in? Does it glide in? Now this is when you see it, when it appears on the page. So you can customize your animation if there's something you want to happen to your button when it first appears. We have it linked, so this link icon allows us to relink it if we want. And if you need some help, there's a help, uh, help spot right there. So we have a hover state on this, or at least we should. Let's check our design really quick. We'll go to customize, make sure I actually got that hover state. Yeah, so in this case, the hover state is gonna to switch to green and the icon's gonna expand a little. To preview that, I would just hit the preview button. It's gonna kind of open up my page. And as soon as I hover over this, boom, it goes from that gradient to a little expanded, uh, expanded green in the background and then the button or the icon itself is expanded. So that is, and then if we click on it, it's going to take us to the shop page because that's the page that we linked up. So that is how to add buttons here in Wix.